I am the great Edward. Yes, yes you, are. Are. you are. And you are all great too. <laughs> yes, we are. Woo! Woo! Yes, we are. Yeah. Yes, we are. Okay, let's try again. I am the great Edward. Yeah! And you are great too. Yeah! You lift up our hearts. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Just... See, I started the word great, right? Now? All right. <clears throat> Why do people show up in your life? Have you ever asked that question before? Who's asked that question? Why are these people in my life? Why are they showing up? Because they're supposed to be. They're supposed to be. Now I've come to realize that there's people show up in your life for three different types of things. The first one is they show up for a reason. The second one they show up for a season. And there's some that show up that will last for a lifetime. But when we are thinking as human beings, we believe that everybody is supposed to show up in our life forever. <laughs> Who's had that happen? Me. Who believes that, sees that? So everybody shows up for a reason. And maybe it's a reason to tell you something for a minute and then disappear. As Diane was sharing earlier, as she just sees somebody out there doing something, she sends them a message and then goes away. There is a reason. Some people come for a season. Maybe they're there for three months, for a year, to move you through something, to get you on to the next stage. And then there's people, maybe it's your family, maybe others. I think family just have to stick around for your lifetime. <laughs> but there's some others that are there for a lifetime. Now I want to share with you a story of my, of my experience. I, if you don't know that much about me, I am an, I am an engineer, I'm a left-brained maniac, computer guy. Genius. With a, with a right-brained visionary mind of seeing things of the future. And way back in 1998, when I was still hanging out in school because I didn't know what I wanted to do with my life, but I know I didn't want a job. I came up with an idea to start a company. And anybody that lives in Canada, or lived in Canada in the, in the early 2000s, have seen what we created. We had this idea that these big plasma screens and digital dis displays and things are gonna be everywhere. And people will use it to communicate to people through direct response marketing to make you buy stuff right at that point when you take out your wallet and you're gonna buy things. We said you need to get the, we talked earlier about getting the right message to the right place, to the right people. We had the theory you need to get the right message to the right people at the right time so they take action and do what you want them to do. So that was great. Starting a company, going out there, pitching people, talking to investors, raising millions of dollars, Getting big customers, Tim Hortons was our first customer. They spent $50 million to put this in every one of their stores. But through this journey, there's lots of ups, downs, twists, turns, people come. I grew a 60 person company. And in the last couple of years that I was there, we had, I had the opportunity to, to sort of take my team that was there and take them on a journey. Before, we were just sort of the startup company. We just did whatever we had to do whenever we had to do something. But we just, a friend of mine and myself were working together. We decided we're going to put a, a vision and a purpose to why we're doing things. And we're going to go to each of these people that are on our team. We have 24 people. And we're going to help them see what's their personal and professional goals. What do they want to see in the next three years? and help them connect it to the vision that we wanted to achieve. So they could see how their purpose would be achieved through what we were doing. And within six months of doing that, 12 people on that team decided to leave. The people outside of our group thought that things were, what was going wrong with you? 
You have the worst attrition rate in the whole company. Why are people leaving your team? Are you doing something wrong? And our answer was no. We were so excited that these people left because they realized they weren't in the right place. Their season for working with us and their reason for being there wasn't right. And they realized through us working with them and figuring out what their purpose and their plan was and why they were there and what they needed to achieve in their life couldn't be fulfilled. And they went off and found the place and the things and the people that could take them where they needed to go. And the people that were left, they were so passionate now that they saw why they were doing what they were doing. It was like having a team four times the size that we had. The production, the work we did, the fun we had was absolutely amazing. So when you're thinking about your teams, you all have teams, you work with people. Maybe they're only there for a reason. Maybe a season. Maybe some a lifetime. But you need to see how their purpose can be fulfilled in what you're offering them and what you can do for them. And once you do that, watch, watch what will happen to them. Watch their enthusiasm, their passion, the work that they will do. It will grow exponentially. So ask yourself this question. Why are the people that are in my life why are they there today? 